Okay, yeah, a little bit different setup here now. Um, it's very hot in this room. I was 36 hours or plus within, I don't know, what is it, about my midnight or 1230. Um, it'd be Thursday morning now. So, um, it was really hot in here. I was kind of concerned that first puppy got chilled maybe. Um, not exactly sure he did or, or didn't, but the bottom line is, is that got a heating pad down, um, got a heating lamp up now. However, powder can't, you know, sustain a room of temperatures between 90 and 100 degrees after giving birth. However, she seems to be insistent about laying on the heating pad. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, I have the central air duct shut off there. Uh, it's just shut, of course, a little water still, a little kitty peeking in. <laughs> a little bit of water, or a little bit of uh, coolness is still coming up through, but that's why I have our water sitting on top of it. And what I've done is uh, turn the heat lamp on, got a heating pad, everybody seems to be very comfortable, very warm, and um, I'm going to leave that uh, <clears throat> central air duct shut. However, I'm going to leave the door open here and put the gate in front of the door. And that way, the cool air will still come in here, giving her some relief. I can tell the temperatures dropped in this room. Gosh, oh, to guess 15 degrees. And it's nighttime, maybe even a little more. But that's going to allow our puppies to still have the heat they need. Um, the floor is warm to the touch from my, where my foot's at, even. Over here, mm, also warm. So we're just warm. And then the heating pads there, if indeed they, if they get over that area, get uh, chilled. But they're away from the door that's open here now. And um, so much for my Clorox wash walls and new flooring. <laughs> the coons, of course, were in here and felt it necessary to not just clean the floor but to put new flooring in and that's what we did and uh, I totally sponge washed all the walls with bleach water and soap and, uh, but that's okay we'll do that again but at least I was worried um, about germs with raccoons and him and babies puppies as much as bigger dogs but at any rate I think I found a happy medium I'm comfortable with um, <clears throat> it's nighttime so of course it's cooler at night uh, and therefore cooler in the house. Tomorrow it'll get warmer, patio doors there. Um, but like I said, um, the floors warm to the touch with my foot. Their bodies are warm, everybody's spread out, meaning they're not chilled, they're not cold, or they'd be all on top of one another. So we have a happy medium, and uh, mom, um, she needs to be able to cool off. Uh, she had a very warm day yesterday. Well, it was evening. I mean, because I didn't shut the air conditioning vent until about three or four in the afternoon. But uh, it's been 100 degrees here. With that shut, the door shut. It had to be 100 in here, and it's just hot. Giving birth for her, of course, that was hot and, and very hard on her. I'm sure in the heat all day today. Uh, but this first, you know, first 24 hours is uh, whoops. There's a little baby girl underneath Mama. So, uh, I'm thinking worry about with the heating pads, of course, the cord getting wrapped around the babies. Good girl, Mama. Good girl. Now Mama's going to get right underneath the heat lamp, perhaps. Let's see if she picks her baby up and moves it. Let's see. Let's see. Everybody just ate, actually, so... Baby getting onto the heating blanket, heating pad. So I feel pretty comfortable with this now. So our baby powder has to be able to cool off. It's too hot for her. Um, I just turned on the tub, cold water. She loves to drink out of the faucet, so I did that for her. Turn that on. She got a nice cool drink. I'm gonna leave this door open. Everybody's relaxing, rolling on their backs. Yeah guy there here on the very end. Uh, he's kind of just moving around a little bit. He's the one I thought may have gotten chilled, but 
talk to my vet. She gave me a call back well, at 8.30, o'clock tonight and said if there was any, uh, well, what would be hypothermia in a puppy, that we're well beyond that, no need to worry, and uh, he's fine. And um, at any rate, uh, again, digestive, you want to, if they get cold, you want to keep them away from the food because everything shuts down. They don't have the ability to even shiver and chill uh, until they're about two weeks old. So you don't feed them if you thought they got chilled because everything inside just slows down and stops and that's worse for them. However, I don't even know that that was the case. I just, and it would have been the first time ever. It was just the central air I was concerned with. But anyway, again, we've reached a happy medium. Baby powder is going to be able to have uh, the luxury of the cool air coming into the room with our puppy still uh, safely underneath the heat lamp and the floor is totally warm as well as the heating pads there. I feel absolutely comfortable with this. Um, the floor is very warm to the touch to my foot. Everybody's spread out, meaning they're all comfortable. And Mama's gonna get some relief. So, we're gonna call it a night, and I think this is gonna be, hopefully, hopefully I'll get some sleep tonight. This will be the first night that I've gotten to sleep more than an hour duration at a time and uh, I really need to get some rest. So, so does our beautiful mama, and she's tired. Tomorrow when we get her all nice and cleaned up, uh, Sophie goes to the vet Friday for x-rays, and uh, two of our babies here have uh, rear dew claws, so they'll go in to get those removed on the same day. So, tell everybody good night, Powder. Powder, can baby Powder speak? Are you up to speak? Can you say something? Speak. Louder, speak. Louder, speak. Louder, loud. Say hello. One more time. Speak. Speak. Good girl. Good girl. Mama, baby, mama, mama. Oh, mama, girl. Heard <laughs> the proud mama sits. Yes. yes. Uh, that's a miracle of life, and we're lucky to experience it. Have that within our lives, and hope it brings. Um, you know, uh, beauty and, and, and love and, and uh, experience of something uh, incredible into the families of others. All right. Well, good night for now, okay? All right. I'm going to take care of our babies. All right. Good night.